Hey Steve Zook, welcome back to Pokesuit Channel and the Guitar Letter System. Hey, I just recently had to move, it's a massive job, so I tried my best to still, still send some material out here and there, but it was hard to be perfect, so if, if you sent me a request for another study and I wasn't able to respond, I apologize, but it, moving is a huge, massive job. So, uh, you know, that's where I'm at. Hey, this, this study is one of my best studies. I want to put this on here again. Now, I, I'm calling this cycle seven, and I'm kind of saying it's a combination of Horace Hatchet and my material. Uh, a ton of time went into this study. Um, Resolve the D major seven. I think that's one of my best studies. It's, it's really 90% me, but I, I mentioned it's kind of a horse hatchet influence one too, just because of the way I try to weave the inside and outside harmonies and try to blend colors and whatnot. But again, that one's, and I don't have the name of the chords on here for a reason. I want you guys to, to listen to the chord and ask yourself, does it have a minor sound? Does it have a major sound? Does it have a dominant sound? Does it have an augmented sound, you know? Um, I want you just, and, and also think of the chord more in terms of the sound of the chord, not so much a definition and also how it connects with other chords. So one more time, um, I'll probably do a couple videos on this because I, I seem to have missed one. I don't know. I think sometimes Hytale, it's a great company, but sometimes they redo things and lose stuff. So then here, to a hair. I like that. I think that's really musical. because I like how it sounds, you know? And I think it helps bring out the harmonies here. You gotta use your thumb here. Sorry about the airplane. You gotta use the side of your finger, the Ted Green approach there. Okay. And then we have here... Um, John McLaughlin influence in this cycle too. Resolve the D major seven. So that one chord, what you're doing is you're having to use the side of your finger uh, to get the other note. So you're doing a chord like this, and you have to kind of slant your first finger over. That's kind of a Ted Green approach to get that. So th this is really a very interesting cycle. I'm really proud of it. I thank the universe for helping me with it. It's influenced, like I said, by Horace Hatchet and Joe Pass. But all my guitar ladder, <clears throat> all my guitar ladder stuff is my own stuff, and most of the Horace Hatchet stuff, some of it, uh, a ton of it, is stuff I'm having to redo and kind of just you know get rid of the fat and just get right to the to the meat. But anyway, this is a great cycle. You just want to take your time on it. This is something you could work on for a long time. Okay. Um. And I really like this one. I'm really proud of this one. I'm not very warmed up, so I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Here you gotta use your thumb. Use your thumb on that one. Here you use the side of the finger.
all right, folks, take your time. Do this stuff slow. Just absorb it. Take care.